In this demo, we will see how SA Lifestyles can improve its customer experience and satisfaction with the help of an intelligent ticketing solution. Our story starts with a customer of SA Lifestyles who recently bought a Cuisinart toaster and has found that a part has stopped working and needs a replacement. Our customer logs onto the SA Lifestyles app to submit a customer message. They start by clicking on Let's Get Started, New Customer Interaction, they put in their customer ID, and then the customer message. So you can see they're asking for customer support for the Cuisinart toaster that they recently purchased for a replacement part because the heating element has stopped working or it's not working properly. They click Submit. We can see that the message was sent successfully and we can see that we have a reference number which we will copy this to be able to use this later on as a customer to look up our history and we'll click OK. And we'll go back to home. So now is playing the service agent within uh, SA Lifestyles. You can see that we are in our intelligent customer interaction portal and we open the intelligent customer interaction powered by LLM. We put in our customer, hit enter, and then uh, on the created at we will choose in descending to get the latest messages that were entered, sorted by date. You can see that there's a request for a replacement part for a Cuisinart toaster. We'll go ahead and click on that. We click refresh and we get information as far as the customer. So we get the title, you can see the external reference number, priority, summary. We can see in this case that there was a message entered. Now the little icon in the middle as the agent, it tells me that this was neither a positive or a negative message. It must be neutral because it's not red or, or green in this case. You can see the message from the customer. Um, as far as, again, Cuisinart uh, toast that was purchased, there's a problem with it. You can see that it was determined by our GPT engine. A couple things, the sentiment was neutral and the intent happens to be a technical issue. And then of course the detail about the message that the customer entered. You can also see that business rules were applied in this case to this so that it was based on the intent, it was a technical issue, and that it wasn't positive or negative. Again, it was neutral that an auto, auto reply message was generated. Specifically, it tells the customer, thank you for reaching out, and that a service call with this case number has been created in our system. And a field service representative, as it says, will contact them soon. Now, in this case, the sentiment is neutral. But what might be also interesting is if we go as the service agent again and look at our customer interaction insights and we just click on go. What we can see here is obviously a, a bunch of interactions that we have, but one that might interest us in this case is the intent. So we could see that one of the issues was a technical issue, but the other issues you can see here are if it was uh, noted as a complaint, a compliment, which we have the most of, uh, delivery, product information, warranty examples. So based on that, the next step would be, of course, within our SAP field service management. So what we were told um, by the auto message is that a ticket was created to dispatch a technician to work on this. If we go into our planning and dispatching and we look at our service calls, we can see the latest one here. We click on. So what we can see here is that we have a service call that was generated in our backend system. Again, the SAP field service management for the customer 1055. You can see the subject for uh, request for replacement part. And then within the notes, we can see the interaction, the external the reference number, the sentiment, intent, and again, a summary of the message. So now our customer, if we go back to our front end application, our customer is very interested in where their message is. So they have the ability to click on let's get started, choose history. And if you remember, we had an external message that we will, whoops, excuse me, we'll paste in here. And when we do that, now you can see that this was the original message. So the customer message initially entered by our customer about the replacement part. And that you now you can see that there's a thank you for reaching out, that telling the customer that a uh, service call was generated in our system and a representative will be calling them soon. So I hope that gives you an overview of the solution that we'll be showing you how to build. Thank you.